Hey everybody, it's me, Knight, and you might notice a few things. One, big-ass box of Blizzard gear over there. Uh, it's kind of full of trash right now, I just haven't found a time to go throw it away. Um, secondly, I'm not using the headset microphone, which is right over here, actually. Um, reason is, I got a new mic. Um, and uh, so, I'm testing it out. There have been a little issues, mainly with the PS4, because it's right next to it. I It picks up the fan and everything. So I have to turn off the PS4 before I record nowadays. Kind of sucks, because, well, I usually just keep it on all the time, because I'm always playing games and watching YouTube on the PS4. It's kind of something to do, especially when it hits the weekend, which is today. This Today is Saturday, and I got my loot anime crate. Before I got my uh, loot crate DX, and I still haven't gotten it yet, because you know I have another uh, crate that I got today, which is sitting right here. So yeah, it's kind of weird to get the anime crate before DX. It's really weird. It's gonna get even more weird with the other one. Um, but yeah, so uh, I figure we'll start with anime first, and I'll get to the other one uh, in the next video, which both should be uploaded either today or tomorrow. Anyways, let's see. This was, The anime crate was called Blade, and it had a few interesting animes to it. Um, it was very action-packed kind of design, and uh, so I kind of got a hint of there's something in plastic, because this was sticking out when I got it. Um, so I haven't opened it yet, so let's get cracking. There we go. Keep this just in case I need it. And... All right, right away we have what appears to be a shirt. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't know why they put it in this packaging, but all right, I'll take it, you know. Come on, there's the opening. All right. Um, hey, no, this isn't a shirt. It looked at first, but it's not. So, this says Ichigo, which I'm assuming this is Bleach. But now that I get another look at it, these, these kind of look like pajamas, lounge pants, I say. So, it is a Bleach design, which is real nice. Sadly, I don't like Bleach. Uh, it's one of the few animes I don't like, um, in terms of action. But, yeah. Yeah, pretty much a set of pajamas here. Uh, it says lounge pants, but screw that. It's it's pajamas. They feel like it and all that stuff. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Real nice. Um, there's not much I can say. I like the color. I like the fact that it has the anime character on it. I like it has its name on there. I'm not mad. That's pretty good. So, let's get to the next one. Um, let's go with this. Loot Crate exclusive, what is this? This is like a wall scroll, but it's like a miniature one. It's a scroll of some sort. Oh! Gintama. It is a wall scroll. It's a miniature one. Um, it's not bad. I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, don't know this anime. That's the unfortunate part. And now i got to roll it up. And that's the fun part. Long, tedious process. No, I don't want you to go over that. So yeah, not bad. Two things right off the bat. So far, this anime crate is so much better than last month's of Delicious. Now, I'm not saying Delicious was bad. I just think it was just kind of bland and stupid. And no, I did not give away that apron. I found out a little bit more information about it because I didn't know the source material. I don't watch those type of animes in general. Um, I didn't give it away, but like even then, it still is an apron. Even if it's got a bad reference, it's an apron that's a costume. It's one of those things where it's not a good thing. If it was just a normal apron, I think it'd have more of a use than a costume. I don't know why they didn't do that. Oh, um, 
Let's move on. Uh, what do we got here? This is a Berserk partnership. So this is a Berserk thing. What is it? Well, I can't tell. Oh. Well, that kind of gives me a hint. I believe this is a letter opener. Um, as it kind of states it in the box. Blade of letter opener is extremely sharp. Uh, handle with care. Well, this doesn't look extremely sharp. This kind of is very dull. But anyway, this appears to be, and I'm guessing, because I have never watched an episode or read the manga of Berserk, but this seems to be the main character, and I believe the main character was named Guts. Could be wrong on that. But I'm not a big fan of this anime in general anyway. It, it, it's just not something I like. But I do like the fact it's a letter opener, or supposedly. It doesn't feel that sharp. So whoever said it is extremely sharp there, liar. Ah, but, um, yeah. And if you didn't know it for sure it's Berserk, you can tell by just reading that. It says the name on it. So I like it. So far, we're getting some real quality items in this one. So this one is a real good, real good one uh, for an anime. And then, let's see, what else we got? Let's get, the, let's get this out. We have the phone charm, which seems to be the main mascot of the anime. Right there. Geez, kind of uh, in a samurai suit. That's kind of nice. Um, and then we got a Sword Art Online progressive holographic book cover. I, I like that. That's kind of cool. I'm assuming, though, that the, the, yeah, this is a great exclusive, so it's got a variant art style. And as you can see, it's kind of holofoil ish. Reminds me of Pokemon somehow. Um, so, yeah, Sword Art, Sword Art Online progressive. Not bad. Now, I've played a little bit of a sort of game. I've never read the manga. Never read uh, a single chapter of it, um, and I've never watched the show. And I've heard so many good things about it. So maybe now that I have the manga of, I guess, one of its titles, um, I should give it a try. Yeah, well, let's go with that. So yeah, you got Sword Art Online. That's that's actually kind of nice. Out of all the things, if I was going to get a manga out of all these, that was it besides Berserk. Because I should really give that a shot. But I just never liked the int I was never interested in it. And uh, the box seems to be able to do some folding. It seems more like it's trying to make a... a what is it called? A, a rack for swords. Because it kind of shows it down there. I'm not going to do that, but alright. We have the poster, so let's see what it looks like. Usually these ones are always pretty good looking. Uh, so there you go. Sword wielding, uh, I believe, Yumi? Yume, yeah. So, we get the Sword Line on Progressive Manga, uh, the first volume of it. Contains three new stories and focuses uh, <coughs> on uh, Azuna, Yuki. And it has a limited edition to cover. I like it. Uh, we get the Berserk letter opener, which, yeah, follow the quest of Guts, known as the Black Swordsman. Yeah, so that, I believe that was his sword. Uh, we got the charm blade, the blade charm. We have the Gintama wall scroll, uh, and we have the bleach lounge pants. So yeah, not bad. I'd actually say that this is so far the best loot anime crate yet. I don't think anybody's gotten any closer now because a lot of this is because it's licensed stuff. But you add on the fact we have a holographic. This is a limited edition uh, book. You have a wall scroll, which a better version of posters. You have a letter opener. And you have lounge pants. Something different from a shirt, per se. 
overall, I'd say this is a nine. This is a solid nine. I, I, everything's quality, first off. Everything's licensed uh, in that everything is, it just feels like it's unique. And it's licensed because it has the ta like the anime tag to them. Um, I understand that some people may think the manga may not be a unique thing because all these eventually are manga anyway, if not already. Um, but the fact that it is a limited edition, the fact that it is holographic uh, uh, cover, the fact that it is an exclusive to this crate does have some uniqueness to it. Um, and the fact that it's a whole new, basically a brand new series to it. To it. Um, the fact that we finally got lounge pants, which is something different from a shirt. Um, the fact that we got a letter opener, which is different from having a, a pen, you know, from a few, a few months ago when we got the Monster Hunter Generations one where it was just a pen that looked like one of the swords in the game. You know, there's some real uniqueness to this, and it's real nice that they did something different instead of what they did last crate or the previous ones before, because loot anime has been kind of on a downgrade. So this being the anniversary crate, essentially, for this uh, one, I hand it to you guys, perfect. This is a solid 9. It could reach a 10. It could. I think the only downside it had <clears throat> is the fact that it is kind of just four items. Um, understandably, though, it, it's four really, really awesome items. But it's just four items. And that, that's that's its major downside. I kind of wish that there usually should be five items in these boxes as a minimum. No max. Like, you can have any maximum you want. But these are the minimum. Put five items. So, like, if they put something that's kind of like candy or anything. Like, they did in the early ones. Like, the second crate had... Uh, Japanese candy. Do something like that. Just throw in something that's extra, and it could be a solid 10 at that point. Um, but yeah, solid 9. I give this a full 9. Um, it is a fantastic crate. The fact that we got some uniqueness to this. The fact that it didn't feel kind of bland or boring or cheap. It feels like I paid well amount the money I needed for this. So, overall, yeah. Stick to this. Stick stick to this one because not every crate is going to be perfect, but they have had some really decent ones. But this one is probably its best it's ever had. I think the previous best was back in summer, and I, I think I gave that an 8. This one hits a solid 9. This I can't give it any lower than that. So, overall, I enjoyed this crate. I may not like some of the animes. I may not be interested in some of the animes, but the stuff in it is fantastic. So, yeah, it's a 9 out of 10. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll get to the next one uh, shortly after this one's done, finished recording. Um, Loon Anime Blade, November's uh, crate, perfect. You can't get any better than that. Outside of maybe adding a little bit of things. So stick to that loot crate. Stick to this type of uh, template. Not exactly get the same exact items, but kind of give us a variety that feels unique and feels like I paid the amount of money I pay you to give me a crate. So <clears throat> this is more than enough to satisfy me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. How do you like the new mic? How do you like... Uh, the way it sounds, if you feel like I need to add something more, go ahead. Maybe you want me to go back to this. Let me know um, in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, see you all in the next one. See ya.